we can actually calculate the rate of decay. And calculating the rate of decay is fairly simple. So remember, rate is how much something changes over time. So rate equals change over time. So now let's work through an example. So suppose you're monitoring the decay of an apple by weighing it every day and recording the change in mass. Actually, the measure of decay may vary. It may be the amount of mould growing on something or the percentage loss of mass or size. Then you plot a graph of your findings. So as you can see, the mass loss increases over a number of days. You can draw a line through these points. In order to calculate the rate of decay over the full seven days, we take the total mass loss, or the amount of change, and divide it by the number of days, i.e. the amount of time. So remember our formula is rate equals change over time. So let's say, in this case, the total mass loss is 50 grams. And this happens over seven days. And that gives the answer 7.14. And as the change is in grams, and as the time is in days, the units are grams per day. Decomposition can be really useful, as it can be used for the benefit of humans. Biogas is a burnable fuel, and it's mainly made out of methane. And this is what a methane molecule looks like. Biogas is produced when microorganisms decompose anaerobically, and this means without oxygen. Hey guys! To continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific GCSE biology and combined science videos, just click the snap revise smiley face. Join me today and together let's make biology at GCSE a walk in the park.